Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. I hope that things are well in your world. A very special event for you today. Watsi was kind enough to give me early access uh, to a preview stream they did where you could try out the new cards from Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate. So big thank you to Watsi for giving me an account that was stocked full of gems and letting me try this out so I could share it with you guys and gals and non-binary pals. Um, I did a couple of drafts. Uh, the one I recorded was a quick draft. They didn't have everything available. We can't play best of three yet, uh, but it, it was free for me, so a good chance to kind of try it out. And I actually rather enjoyed the quick draft in this case because it gave me time to read the cards, talk with chat a little bit, and make sure we were building somewhat of a coherent deck. Uh, so I think this was the best draft I had of the event. Uh, it certainly was, and it was certainly a lot of fun. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I expect you will see more Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate. Man, that's a mouthful. Drafts uh, on the stream and here on the YouTube. If you like what you see, please leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, do all those good things. And uh, I hope you enjoy the draft. All right, let's go check out Baldur's Gate. All right, so if we want to try one where we win, we should probably just draft the most ridiculous bombs and aggro strategies. I have gotten to play with the horn. I do not again want to play with the horn. We could play something that's looking to ramp to a meteor golem. I do love me a meteor golem. Horn was not good. Horn was okay. Horn was okay. Good evening, Tommy. I think I want to play with a Meteor Golem. This card's cool. Just need to ramp to it or find some way to do something with it. Okay, what does this do? Four damage to a creature Planeswalker. If excess damage is dealt, the next creature spell you cast gets plus X plus O. That's not bad. It's a decent little removal spell. I'd really like to be in something that could help me ramp towards a Meteor Golem. And it feels like Grim Bounty might be able to do that. Yeah, I was thinking Blue Black would be the natural home for Meteor Golem. Because you've got reanimation stuff in black, you've got a few copy artifact things in blue, and there's just make a token creature. Uh, I don't know that I would call it ramp, but that is what I'm thinking about here, is it, it could help us cast that. So I, I think I like the bounty here. Yeah, we could try blue-white flicker the golem, right? Like, this this you could bounce it, but I, I think I, I, I might like treasure golems. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, this is the blink card, and that's pretty easy to get. I do quite like this Prowler too, like just a solid blocker. I think I think we're just going to take that and play it. If we were in blue black, I'd be pretty happy playing a Griddle. Yeah, let's be in blue black then, or or we could have two Meteor Golems and really go ham. I didn't even see the other Meteor Golem. Because now we can consistently be like, we're going to draw one. All right, this is the Meteor Golem draft. There is only Meteor Golem. This basically has to be green-black at this point, right? This can return a Meteor Golem from my graveyard to my hand but I don't think I actually want that. I could take the stupid Circle Druid, which would mill me for the reanimate cards I'm going to get so that we can reanimate a Meteor Golem or just let me hit land drops. Yeah, we're doing green-black. This has to be green-black. This mill three cards, you get a creature and a land. I think I'm pretty happy with that. And this ramps you from four. Yeah, which we actually want to do. Although follow the tracks is probably better, frankly. Because I end up with a four mana two two on this one. 
which I don't love. Whereas Tracks also enables a splash. I think this is playable. I just think I'd rather play the Tracks because it can draw me a Meteor Golem. Yeah, I'll play two. I do need the reanimation spells. Oh, look at this. Green, black, self mill coming together. But like I said, I, I do see John's issue and that eventually you can just, you know, buckle in and okay, I'm I'm playing these colors. I'll take the good cards for that color. How many tracks can we follow? Probably just two, because things only have two feet. Well, some of them might have more. Permanent skin, hexproof, and indestructible. Seek a creature card, and if the opponent has cast a spell with mana value three or less. No. Trample, double back dragon power. No. Basilisk, yeah. You excited to pick that? Not really. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a non-token creature. That's pretty cool with this Circle of the Land Druid. But I still don't think it's as good as this. This is the other one where you... No, it's not. Okay, I was going to say there's one where you just copy something. The Axe is really cool, too. I, I don't think it's quite where I want to go, but it's, it's, it's a cool card. This is what John killed us with. It's a cool card, but I don't think for us, because I'm buckling in now. I don't think I would do this in a competitive draft environment, but I'm not in a competitive draft environment. I, I really don't care if we win. I just want to see how many Meteor Golems I can cast. But I'm also not hitting the cards to pull it off, so I'm kind of curious. But I'll try another Seize the Spoils. I probably need one of these too, but I'm taking the Nurturer. Oh, Lindworm I liked, or Linorm I liked, I should say. Obviously need more seven drops. That's round. And blockers. <laughs> okay, so work with me here. We're gonna see so many spoils. We're not actually gonna see so many spoils. I, I think two sees the spoils and a druidic ritual is a bit much. That may be too much self-mill with the gray salad, but I'm still gonna give it a go. Okay, I am now ready for one black reanimate spell and I think we've done it. I will pick it highly. Hey, we got that too, cool. This is a good way to understand the archetypes, too. Is this good? Draft a card from the spell book, then put one of those cards onto the battlefield. We can get a 2-2. Two -two. Hey, that one's actually good. Wow, yeah, this is great. You draw two cards and just put one of them into play immediately. Yeah, this thing's stupid. And loud. You put both of them into play? Oh, you put both of them into play. That's insane. This two drop I like quite a bit too. Is this thing good? What well, doesn't matter, I can't cast it. But I like this quite a bit. The sewer plague was also pretty damn good but this obviously goes with what we're doing and it's probably enough two drops that I don't have to panic anymore. I can't realistically follow any more tracks, but I could just play this as a blocker. I'm not sure we're gonna play, I, I don't think we're playing this Lantern. I, 
I don't know what I do about flyers. I would like something with reach if we see one of those other caps. But other than flyers, I'm probably winning. I don't know that I want two of those, but... I suppose I could take the Emerald Dragon. I just don't like it. I'm probably just not appreciating that a six mana 5-5 five, five flyer is fine, and I should just take it and play it. I really thought we'd get one of these, and then we did, and I was pretty happy that we got it. I don't feel like I need this gray salad. I do feel like I need this owl bear. No, but I, I think in that case it just was kind of better. And I should have at least considered it. Like, it's okay to not take it, but I should have probably thought about it. That's all I'm saying. But this looks pretty good to me. It's a simple deck. I would like more depth in my drafting formats, but you're just not going to find that in Quick Draft. I, I need to make sure we don't play uh, eight, 17 lands. That's just stupid. Yeah, I should just play another two drop. Don't really have one. Alright, I'll play one three then. And then just do an eight eight mana base. Alright, I can work with this. Let's take it out for a spin. Yeah, I think we're very weak to flyers. Agree. And th that, that's why I was thinking the dragon actually would have been nice to have. I think it would have been quite nice. Lame. This is what doing it feels like if you were curious. Meteor Golem count at one. That should be all the mill I need to do on purpose.
It probably will kill me, yeah. Wow. Ye old defensive combat trick. Negative Ghost Rider. I like the stream black deck a good bit. This is fun. Gonna know yourself more. Okay. Be my guest. Be my guest. Behold my dragons! I haven't even done the good stuff yet. We may even make it out of bronze rank, y'all. It's a fun little deck, fun little format. I think I'll really enjoy this in best of three. I couldn't quite figure out what Green Black was interested in doing, but I think we're beginning to figure out what Green Black is interested in doing. And I've got to say, I like it. Lou, Lou, Lou. All right, here we go. Well, looks good to me. We can follow some tracks into a meteor golem. Probably rather just play the 2 3 for now. It's only bad if I draw, like, specifically Owl Bear. And that's a good point Techno Shaman made. If you don't know what a card does, you can exclamation point card and the card name, and it'll tell you in chat what it do. Since Untapped hasn't quite caught up yet. They should have this going pretty quick. They usually do. You just have to wait for the set to actually be out. Uh, which this set will release tomorrow, I believe. Again, big thank you to Watsy. 
for getting me an invite to the preview event. Super fun to play. Could use one more land. That might get me one, but it also might not. So let's just do this. That way, if like I really feel like I need to cast a Druidic Ritual, I can be pretty happy with it, right? Like we can trade off the Basilisk and know that I'm at least getting a Basilisk back. But if we don't, we'll just play this Witch and it'll be amazing. All right, beginning of your upkeep, each opponent discards a card. That seems nice. Each opponent loses three life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent. I think I'd rather just make them start discarding for starters. They mill five cards. And then discard their graveyard. Seems good, man. That'll mess up any more ambitious dragonborns they have. And it gives me a kill condition. Yeah, it's really stupid. And if they kill it, I can just recur it over and over and over and over and over again. And it giggles. Yeah, draw some cards. Hey, it's a bomb. There's bombs unlimited. You have to kill them or you die. This one's somewhat interesting in the way it kills them. Yeah, if the coven dies, we can get even more hags. It'll be great. But I currently don't need to. We'll just chillax and kill them slowly. Sure, Mike, but if, if you killed this one, these are two twos, and the abilities aren't that busted. They're good, but they're not that busted, right? So you can just take this one out and then start attacking, and there's still a path to victory. I mean, how is it different than Caretaker of Aberbrook? Like, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, like, yeah, they've, they've done unfun designs before, and they've been unfun. Yeah, it's pretty quick. I expect we'll have him dead in a minute. But it, it... I've heard a lot of people complaining about how powerful the alchemy cards are. They're not actually any more powerful than some of the other cards we've had in the past. They're just very different and powerful. 
but like John killed us with that dragon that draws one to 20 cards. If you don't kill it immediately, it's functionally not that much different than a Bane Slayer, right? Like it's obviously a bomb, but like, do you have a spell that can kill a flyer right now? No, you probably lose. Yeah, the hex really annoying, but it still doesn't seem that different to me than the the one that like was hex proof and put counters on every damn thing. Yeah, there's some like there's some interesting game state to that, right? I don't actually recall a They're having a little bit better start than me. But, I mean, also, if you hit 15 once, Mike, like, <laughs> like, does it matter? Right? Just don't attack again. And use the 15 cards you drew to kill them. Hey, what's up, Dom? None of our decks have done super good. But I've been having a blast. I was playing uh, 17 lands way too often for best of one draft. I forgot about that. I think this is the best deck we've had so far. Let's see how busted this hag is because it needs to save me right now and i'm not really sure it can do that I think I'm about to be chump blocking here. I don't think I've heard of that card, Lyra.
Yeah, I end up having to basically chump block all of this. Well, I could keep one of them. I could keep this and make more chump blockers, which doesn't seem too bad, right? Oh crap, that gets pumped. Never mind, we're dead. Oh, I forgot you could pump those. I did have to chump block all of them. Sorry, hags. If there's a lot of six mana bombs, then aggro is going to be better in the format. But aggro is going to be better in best of one anyway. You got hand smoother to look after you. Ascend from Avernus. X, triple Y. Return all creature and planeswalker cards with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. We've had cards like that before. Looks good. But it's just like incredibly late game bomb thingy. Why did the auto tapper do that to me? Should have gained some life there and didn't. Not not thrilled about it either. I mean, it's my fault. I should have clicked the buttons in the right way. I didn't, but come on now. That's rough with new mechanics. I thought whenever I cast a dragon, I gained two life. Not that I had to use that mana to do it. Best of one aggro decks, go, go. <laughs> Getting down in a hole. They really are. So I feel like if, if you want to draft aggro, you can draft aggro. kind of see it from here. We might be all right.
Get in the coven! Are you ready to cackle? Yeah, whatever they're holding, I want to get rid of it. not what you want to block but you do you let's giggle some more that's so many witches I, I do you need me to take baby Bring her in to say hi. We're, we've almost killed them. But I'm always happy to see baby. Yeah, she's kind of like... Staring into the void. Yeah. What a cute baby. <laughs> it's good. This is a lot of witches. I've been overall pretty happy with the stack. I thought you just threw witches in water and they exploded or something, right? Dude, I saw the Wizard of Oz. The don't float. What a world, what a world, what a cruel, cruel world. Ducks are notoriously heavy. They have the density of a dying sun. Have you ever tried to pick up a dog? If you haven't, you really can't comment. That's a cooked duck. What you don't know is that one duck can make 500 Peking duck meals. It's a quirk of duck physics. It expands. It's like a, a reverse black hole, a white hole, if you will. I don't sweat onions, they're just delicious. I may as well do the ramp. That's what this deck was set up to do. 
even though it don't really do nothing this turn, like it eventually will, that's the idea. It seems like a wonderful two drop to me. It's good on attacks, it's good on blocks. I don't know why you wouldn't want to Yeah, it's better than a Basilisk, and Basilisk was already pretty good. May as well make this useful. Combat trick, have you? Acceptable. Well, if you're in green, that makes some sense. Two for half? Yeah, I I feel like we're doing all right now. That's because ducks travel incredibly slowly because of their density. We've been over this. Don't know that I much care about that, do I? So what happens if they specialize? They get the red version. So they get a double striking hasty ramp guy, don't care. Or they get the green version. So they would get a 5-5 five, five hasty guy for a turn. Literally do not care. How much gelato have you thrown at people? Yeah, we can do a little mill. Gelato is delicious. You wouldn't, you'd eat it, that's what I'm saying. So we can't really, like, no one's ever thrown gelato, they would just eat it. Right? I would. Oh, I could have just won the game, huh? But this is way more fun. I wonder how you ha why you have to reveal it if this is an alchemy set. Like, that's just silly wording. Oh, because I guess this was, maybe was in the, the, the original commander set. Okay. 
It could just be search your library for a dragon, put it in your hand. You can't break the rules in Arena. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say it. My baby's the cutest. All the other babies are kind of ugly. Now you know. That's not true. Babies are cute. But mine's especially cute. Mine's more cute. Now we got something to ramp to. Where did they get Christopher Lee slaves? I see you have elected the way of pain. and weep. Seek two instants or sorceries, exile them. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may copy a card. Oh wow, so they can just cast these forever? That's pretty good. We're going to need more Meteor Golem.
but I doubt they're going to let me get more. But we will see. Not a fan. Nope, not a fan. Should have done this last turn. Try to make the game go a little longer. I want this in the graveyard. Like, pretty desperately, right? Heck yeah! Not being hungry is awesome. I think I'd rather find another Meteor Golem and get rid of those. And there's another Meteor Golem. So they kind of have to give me these two, which is fine. That can draw me to the other one. Or they give me the Meteor Golem. But yeah, I don't think that's what's happening. I should have taken that just so I could gain three life for six mana. That seems like a good deal.
can't block. That's so good. And pretty cool. Neither of them are good enough. That is kind of not good enough, right? Because, like, I can take it out, but then I'm still just dead in the air. So the question is, can I kill them if I use a Meteor Golem to get rid of a blocker? They would block this and then take 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Man, I'm just short. Gaining 3 life doesn't do anything either, because, like, this is all in the air. It's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, gaining... Well... I can cast this. To gain 2. Oh, but they've still got the rally maneuver. They'll just kill me with that. So get a blocker out of the way, swing team. It's still 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're three short. Uh, the cleric's is uh, zero. The cleric doesn't do anything. These two aren't actual cards. Yeah, I, I can't actually buy myself another turn. Like, this looks like it does something, but it doesn't. Because I can't block anything he has. It's okay to say he in this case, because I know this is Luca. Luca's not blocking here, dude. Hmm. Oh, it is a force block. Shoot, you're right. They do have to block something. But he'll find the best block that will kill me. Or not. Fair enough. Swing team. See what happens. But I, I guarantee you Luca will find the best block. He's incredibly good at magic. I think we're even on drafting. I might have a slight edge when I'm focused, but that's maybe 40% of the time where he's focused 100%. But I think 40% of the time I'm a better drafter, but he's always a better player. That said, I may still be just fine, so we'll take it. I just assumed he was going to beat me. <laughs> sure, to the graveyard with you. Mostly just so I can hear that cackle. Vampire Spawn do it, because he'll block this, take four, five, six, seven. Vampire Spawn does it. Pew pew! 
Nothing like a good vampire spawn. I was sure we were dead. I'm pretty sure it's the cackle that pushed us over the edge. It was a really good cackle. And I'm gonna queue up as fast as possible because this event is about to end and I wanna try to finish this draft before it do. What'd you have for lunch, Band Geek? That swamp, it's cool looking. a neat card. It's still combat damage to me, right? Be good for when we get the devil back. So they're drawing a the land and presumably happy about it. I was going to get back the Devil, but the Coven's just too good not to take. I'll get that back with the Cleric. Man, that one just went perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. One more for all of the mobbers. It's still a little early, Renan, to say what's an overperformer because I, I haven't played a lot. Uh, but it, honestly, two drops have been overperforming. But I, I think a lot of that is because I'm playing best of one, which I usually don't. 
but the two drop death touchers have been really nice. Removal spells have been good, and it kind of feels like you should hold your removal rather than just spew it out. It's like obviously Bolt the Bird or whatever, but in general, spewing out removal spells does not seem great. Uh, might as well just follow the tracks this turn. Uh, this is the first time I've tried it, and in this particular deck, it's been quite good. Uh, but I do strongly suspect that it's a green-black card exclusively. I don't think I'd just be throwing this in any deck. Now, they've got a removal spell here or even a decent combat trick, they can probably run away with the game. And that's why it was like the removal so important, because there's a lot of cards, even in Uncommon, that will just win the game if you don't interact with them. But there's a lot of graveyard recursion going in on in green black, which is probably not very surprising. bit normal. Thank you for the prime sob. Much appreciated, my friend. Y'all spam some cats for a little bit normal. Which is not something that I am. But I very much appreciate your support. drawn our card off of this yet, have we? So much value in this set. Hey, thank you so much, Normal. I really appreciate that. I'm a very happy dad. I went in to see Sim Wife and Sim Baby and took a little break earlier, and uh, Sim Baby just had a smile for me, and it's, it's, it's just the most precious thing. Have I got enough good stuff? Not quite yet. But hanging out with my wife and baby is kind of the most awesome thing. I'm, I'm a happy dad. I did! I liked her so much I married her. out. Well, there you go. That's how you get seven wins in a bot draft in AFR. 
I guess it's not AFR. AFR2 Electric Boogaloo. I like this set. I'll be streaming some more of this. Uh, sadly, the event is coming to an end now. But again, big thank you to Watsy for getting me a preview account and letting me play in this. Uh, Jim got me in in the last minute, and I really appreciate it. They gave me the stocked account full of gems and gold to play in the early access event and show it off to you guys and gals uh, and non-binary pals for an afternoon. So I, I'm really appreciative of that. And I like this set. We will be playing more of this. Definitely be playing more of this. And a big thank you to my patrons. Thank you, Punk, Joe, Jesse, Jacob, Scott, Fasty, Rich, Brandon, Jazzy, Craig, and Geis. I appreciate y'all. If you'd like to check out my Patreon and see your name up here in lights at the end of the videos, there's a link down below. Thank you very much.